I got a thousand dollars left. Okay, for the month. Okay. Now I didn't add a water bill. I don't pay car insurance. Um, not yet. I don't pay because I got a company that pay my um car insurance. So out of the thousand dollars that I have left, I don't know how much my water bill gonna be yet. But we're gonna say you're gonna take out, let's see, once one twenty. Because my water bill when I was paying my water bill, it was not less than a hundred dollars. So we're gonna say a hundred and twenty for water out the thousand. And then um diapers, which I think I don't even know how much I'll be spending on diapers and wipes. So diapers and wipes for the whole month. Um gas for the whole month. Tissue, dog food, laundry detergent, and let's say 200. Okay, so how much is I'm at now? Six seventy. And this the other money that I have left over. Um I buy hair, cigarettes, um, and the rest I just blow on food. <laughs> yeah, they took out the two hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't buy I don't buy clothes every month. So I can't say I'm buying clothes every month. Um so I have a five hundred dollar um we're gonna say five hundred dollars that I could do anything with. <laughs> she took up is two hundred dollars Cause she took off two hundred dollars out of the eight. Cause she took off two hundred dollars because she said two hundred dollars. That's gonna be enough. We gotta come on. Two hundred dollars is two hundred dollars is gonna pay for dog food, diapers, wipes, hair, soap, laundry detergent, hair the fucking on. And cause I get two bottles of laundry detergent at ten dollars a piece, ten ninety a piece for the tide. And I buy it twice a month. Sometimes I buy it four times a month. Yeah, yeah, I want you to like that. You stopped at 879. And then we gotta take out soap tissue, um, pads, hair weave, um, like maybe some lashes. I don't really get my I don't get my nails done every month. Um I buy, I've been buying a lot of pennies and bras lately for Samaya because for some reason um, she don't like to keep her panties that she mess up when she's flowering. She throw them away. Soap, yeah, soap, tissue, paper towel, dog food, garbage bags. So we're going to just say I got a $400 um, budget. Yeah, I, I have a Dollar Tree, but I have to keep on buying soap and tissue because remember I was telling y'all I didn't really wash them when they take their bath. So they get a bar of soap and they, they, they break up the bar of soap. And then with the tissue, because they keep on losing the tissue roller, I just go through pounds of tissue every day. I think I lose like three, three rolls of tissue a day because they wet up the whole roll and I have to throw it away. I have a $400 budget that I could do anything with. But you got to think about it. If I take my kids to Zap Zone, it's over with. The $400 is gone. To order us food out the month, it's going to cost about, even if we go to McDonald's, we're going to spend $26, $30 on food. If we go to Burger King or 
we go to get, eat out and stuff like that, I spend like I be spending money on food a lot, a lot of eating out. Yeah, I, I spend a lot of money on, on eating out. And then y'all already told me that because I smoke a cig, I smoke a pack of cigarettes in two days, and a pack of cigarettes here costs ten fifty. So, um, I'm spending ten dollars every two days on cigarettes, and I don't, I don't buy. Um, pounds of weed. I only I I buy twenty dollar um two tens. I buy two tens probably every three days. So that's twenty dollars every three days that I spend on weed. No, I get um. Oh, how much they said I get? I get thirteen hundred in food stamps. Forty dollars a week on, so I spend forty dollars a week on cigarettes. <coughs> Damn, I don't even know what I be. I just be spending shit. So I gotta be um more um. Thirteen hundred. We spent thirty. Oh yeah, for food stamps. Yeah. Hey, look, Dedrick. Okay, but you guys. With those people coming in, the kids not gonna be acting crazy. I've been over here. So basically, um, like I said, even though I get two thousand dollars a month, which I didn't think I didn't know I was getting that much money, I didn't I wasn't paying attention to what I was um spending my money on and you got to think about it. I wasn't getting $2,000 all this time. Remember, Cooper just started paying his $800 in December. So before that, he ain't paid me child support since last year. I know how many last time he paid child support. Yeah. Cooper went a whole year without paying no child support. Before December of last year, <coughs> Cooper didn't pay me no child support since 2021 November or December. So he was giving me money throughout the year out of 2022, but he was only giving me like a hundred here, 200 there every couple of months. He never was consistent in his payments. So now I'm getting $800. Now I'm getting $2,000. But before that, I was literally basically living off of fucking $1,040 off of social security plus $39 for five kids. And then Gerard was paying me $177 that he stopped in November. So I was only getting like maybe fifteen hundred before, you know, thirty, fourteen, something like that. That I had to live off of and budget, and I wasn't paying you no know, lights and gas at the time. Remember, because I didn't have to had a landlord problem. So the money that I was spending the money on, and remember, I didn't get my taxes until October. So we didn't have no furniture. So at that time, I was just spending my money on certain shit like getting okay, I'm gonna get the, some like that um like the pots, the new skillets that I had. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit when you move to a house when you ain't getting no taxes and nothing like that, you can only afford certain shit. Like you can afford some tiles, some rags, and some new skillets, but you can't afford extra shit. So you know, it was hard. It was hard. But now that I'm getting this extra eight hundred dollars from Cooper a month, I can basically do more stuff with it, you know. Um and still have at least like four hundred dollars left over. But that member, I never even included shoes and clothes out of that. I never included shoes and clothes out of that. Remember we remember we just did a budget, right? And after all of my budget I ended up to with four hundred to five hundred dollars left off, where that's not tied to nothing. But we never included clothes, shoes, or none of that shit. You get what I'm saying? So by the time I get that five hundred to four hundred dollars left over off my budget after I pay all my bills and my necessities and get everything I fucking need, that motherfucking shoe money. So ain't no motherfucking Jordans. Cause just for Jerry money, get them red and black Jordans. He's had that motherfucker is just seventy five, seventy nine dollars, which is eighty dollars. So I can't afford to get no no kids 
no no brand new Jordans. Not the 2023 Jordans. Shit, they're going to have to get the motherfucking 1980s. Shit. It is. It's expensive when you got 400 to 500 budgie. And then you know in the summertime, it's going to be extra shit because you're going to want to do extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're going to want to go outside and spend extra money because when it's hot. They gonna want dinky donuts and motherfucking elephant ears and shit. What about the carnival to come around? That shit is twenty dollars a fucking kid for the whole day wristband. Shit. So that little four hundred, five hundred budget is gonna be gone. Why everybody think I'm just pulling all this motherfucking money? You know what stores is in my price range? The Goodwill. That's what's in my motherfucking price range. For my kids to get a bundle of clothes. And the reason why my kids' clothes look be looking like they be looking is because I pass my kids' clothes the fuck down. You think I'm about to spend $40 on a $40 Walmart box and just throw it away? No, that shit is going from Hezekiah to Israel to motherfucking Matthew. As long as they ain't got no holes in it. I didn't even figure it out until Patrick told me, like, yeah, we know. I noticed that you pass a lot of your clothes down, but you got to make sure the clothes that you pass down, even though they don't have no holes in them, if they look outdated, it can make your kids look raggedy. See, I was.